At 119 Peter Rose and Laluni Street, construction workers of the radio company Telcoran Cultural Broadcasting. Chief Justice Ian Chang had issued an order blocking the company from setting up its broadcasting tower and offices at the location in Queenstown. In addition, the company faces a contempt of court charge for ignoring the order of the High Court. The company had ceased works at the site, but those works seem to have recommenced. In a statement, the company said that the site will not be used for the planned radio broadcasting facility, but that instead it has been developed for an alternative use as permitted by all the relevant agencies. How that affects the matters which are yet to be determined by the court remains to be seen. The company was one of the three given five radio frequencies each by former president Barra Jagdeo. The others who were given five radio frequencies each were Jagdeo's best friend, Dr. Ranjasinghe Ramru, and the Mirror newspaper, owned by the ruling People's Progressive Party. Telcor was moving to build its offices and set up its broadcasting tower at the site, but the Chief Justice made absolute an order quashing the approval given by the Central Housing and Planning Authority for Telcor to construct its facilities on the said property. The main argument was that the city's bylaws do not permit the construction of such facilities at the particular address. Telcor was originally registered by Company Secretary Omkar Lochan, who is the Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Natural Resources and the Environment, headed by Robert Prasad. However, it appears that following the scandal surrounding the granting of the radio licenses, Lochan has been removed as company secretary. In the statement issued to Capital News, the new company secretary was identified as Dharm Chan Deepu. Senior counsel Rex McKay had filed contempt proceedings on behalf of a client for the then company secretary Omkar Lochan to be held in contempt of court and be imprisoned for unlawfully disobeying the order of the court not to carry out building operations at the site.